record this evening, the campaigns drew cards in order to determine the order of closing statements. Doctor, you're first. I believe that all people should have equal opportunity to success. This brief, this brief belief is based on my Christian values. What we do in government is not all that we need to do. That is the case because we do not reach down far enough to elect people who care more about the welfare of our people and less about the welfare of a few. America is a great nation not because it can, it costs just about a few, care just about a few, Rather, America can be great, South Carolina can be great, because she knows that there is an undesirable truth to the statement that the nation we live in can be no better than the least of us. I'm asking you, I'm going to take this time to give taxpayers the credit for paying for all these big companies that came to South Carolina. Your taxpayers paid for Boeing to come here. The taxpayers paid for Mac to come here. And I'm going to say this. God bless all of you. And Dr. God bless your families. Dr. Vote for Dr. me, your Morgan Reese. expired. Next, Senator, please. Thank you. You know, we need a governor that we can trust again in South Carolina. We deserve to have a governor who doesn't break ethics laws a governor who will tell us the truth, a governor who doesn't allow all our information to get hacked into and stolen from our Department of Revenue and then doesn't come clean with what happened. And we deserve to have a governor who won't sell out the Port of Charleston to the Port of Georgia for 30 pieces of silver. We gotta have a governor who will clean up Governor Haley's Department of Social Services that's let too many kids be hurt. We need a governor who will govern, and that's the governor I'll be. I'll be a governor who supports public education every year, not just in an election year. I'll be a governor who fixes the crumbling roads of this state and keeps our Medicaid money in South Carolina where it can work. I'll be a governor who supports small business just as much as out-of-state companies. At the end of the day, what's most important is having a governor who's honest with us. And we haven't had one in a really long time, and we deserve it again. I ask for your support, Sir. and I thank you. Mr. French? In 1980, Ronald Reagan asked, was asked in a debate, he said, are you better off than you were four years ago? No, I'm not going to ask that. I'm going to ask, though, are you freer than you were four years ago? Do you feel like any less taxes, any less regulation, any less burden of government has been taken off of you? And I don't believe that that's been the case. I'm trying to break tradition here in South Carolina. I'm trying to stop this state from always being at the bottom of the barrel in income road quality and education and always being at the top and violence against women and corruption. I don't believe that Steve French makes a difference or our governor makes a difference. I believe you make a difference. You're the ones putting food on your table. You're the ones working, signing these fronts of the paychecks. So I'm asking you to be different, think differently, act differently, and vote differently. Because if you do, you're going to make such a big difference, not just in this state, but in our nation. Judge. Thank you. You know, being governor is far more than ribbon cuttings, sound bites, <clears throat> and press conferences. And by the way, I'm not running for vice president. I'm running for governor of South Carolina. I love this state and I love our people. They're hardworking, patriotic people. But our state has been controlled by special interests, career politicians, and party bosses. You know, it's time to drain the swamp of corruption in Columbia. I'm ready to serve you you have an important decision to make on November the 4th. You can vote for one of the career politicians to my right, or you can vote for a true independent in Tom Irvin. I have common sense solutions to fix our crumbling infrastructure, to eliminate the sales tax, and pass term limits once and for all. As a man of faith, I'm asking for your prayers. What we need in Columbia is less politics and more common sense. Thank, thank you, and thank God you, bless. Judge Governor. Thank you. You know, four years ago, I came to you and I asked you to take a chance on me. I had a vision, a vision of a state that brought jobs for the people, a vision of a state where schools worked for our children. And what I said then was, if you gave me a chance, I'd spend the next four years trying to prove to you that I made that you made a good decision. Now I want you to look at us now. It's not about words, it's about results. Almost 57,000 jobs in 45 out of 46 counties. Faster growing drop in unemployment than even the nation's drop. One of the, they're now referring to us as the beast of the Southeast, third best state to do business in, in the country. Education reform, pension reform, tort reform, getting legislators to vote on the record, and the list goes on. 
You know, I know there's been a lot of negativity on this stage tonight, and that's okay. That's politics. I'm used to that. But what I'll tell you is, this time I'm not asking for your words. I'm asking for you to judge me on results. And let's continue to make every day a great day in South Carolina.